everyone welcome back to my channel i have got a misguided haul for you guys today i hope you're having a really nice week so far really excited to show you these things that i've got because misguided have been killing it so far this season so yeah anyway obviously got hendrix here <laughs> today he's so snuggly like i actually can't cope love you Mwah. i'm sorry but like how cute can you get <sighs> So Misguided have been killing it so far this season. I've been really, really liking everything they have. Their new season stuff, their awesome stuff is really, really good. I've got loads of cool bits to show you. Lots of nice neutrals, lots of nice jackets, things that are really like transitional and also more wintry things. So yeah, basics wise, let's start with this top. So I posted this on my stories a little while ago and it is so good so it's just like a boxy crop top so so nice and it's like super easy to wear throws on with everything looks so good so yeah i'm a big big fan so miss guy have started doing some homeware and what i have got to show you is some really cute candles which hendrix really wants to look at oh my god do you like candles Yes? You like it? Mm, okay. okay, so we've got this candle. Obviously, we want to be making our homes nice and cozy going into autumn and winter. So, big fan of this. This is a really cute candle. Do you like this one? So, we've also got these glasses that I've got my iced latte in. These are really, really, really good. So, there is a homeware designer, like a big company, and there was some, they did some glasses like this that went viral, and they were all over Instagram, everywhere, and I bought them. It took about probably six weeks for them to arrive. It was honestly ridiculous. It was so long. No, I honestly think it was longer than that. I think it was about like... 10 weeks it took so long for these glasses to arrive anyway and when they did they are so thin like they are so thin and delicate like i've smashed two already whereas these are sort of a similar style with the sort of like ribbed detail on it sounds like i'm talking about condom but obviously i am not um but yeah and they're like the the glass is really thick so they're definitely way more sturdier and robust and like so much better. Okay, let's talk about the jeans that I'm wearing. So I've got three pairs of jeans in today's haul. So the first pair are these ones. I need to <laughs> check which ones these are because these I think are my faves. These are, okay, they're the high rise boyfriend jean. I've got them in a size 10. I feel like they're a really perfect fit. They fit like they're not too tight. They're not too loose, they're just perfect. They feel comfortable and the fit's really nice. I'm very into the whole like dad jeans sort of thing at the moment, but actually like, I'm gonna pull this tag off, it's really annoying me. <laughs> but actually I really like these, like really nice. It's just, you know like the thing with the 90s jeans and dad jeans, they tend to be very like, back, like quite baggy. They tend to be almost a little bit too baggy sometimes. Like, I love them, I really do. But sometimes it's like you want something in between, but all my slim fitting jeans are too slim fitting or too skinny. So these are like the perfect, perfect jeans. So um, yes, love them. Let's have a little look at some jackets, shall we? So, so. We have got this one here, which kind of like gives me a very retro vibe because of the silhouette of it. Like I think it's so cute. Really nice quality. I got a size 10 in this. So I usually size up in most of my jackets to go oversized, unless it's like already drastically oversized, but I felt like this would be perfect. And actually I love it like this. I think this will be really cute with like a little like dress and bare legs and ankle boots as well whilst you know we still sort of can get away with that oh my god then we've got this jacket oh my god i love it so much it is so nice it looks super expensive the quality is like really really good and like it's quite it's not like super thick but it's definitely like thick enough that it will keep you warm in the winters providing you're wearing like a jumper underneath. So really nice. I just like it now at the moment, literally with what I'm wearing, jeans and a t-shirt. It's like super, super simple, really cute, really, really easy. Very, very, 
very very nice everyone needs a camel jacket so this one i really like it it's got this like long boyfriend fit i like the fact that it's got double breasted buttons and everything like that huge huge fan so yeah really really pleased with this i think it's really cute it's i what size did i go for in this just for reference so I got size 8 in this and I feel like if I want to be able to wear a jumper underneath comfortably without feeling too tight, I should have sized up. So just if you're planning to obviously buy this to wear way, 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 way into winter, definitely size up. That's my main piece of advice. Okay, so <laughs> I love this trench coat so much. I've got it in like three colors. So my main regret is not sizing up a couple times. So I got two on a size 10 and one on a size 8. I wish I'd gone for a 12 because you know I really like the oversized fit. So this is like a very dark, sl like slate gray charcoal color one. Really, really like it. It's definitely quite a moody shade. I think it'll be like really nice when autumn sort of sets in. I think the thing that I really like about it is it's got that like Scandi chic vibe about it. Like ugh, Scandi chic isn't even really a word anymore. It was a very like thing. Of the past but yeah like you know like the scandinavian fashion vibes that we were all obsessed with a few years ago and to be honest we still are like scandinavian girls just just so cool like they dress so good um but yeah basically this is really cool and i think it's very that vibe jeans t-shirt once again and a cool hat and like a nice like bag and a pair of trainers and it's gonna look really awesome okay we've got the beige one here so this is more of a classic color i really I, th I you know what i like about it the fabric feels kind of like coated as well so it's like i feel like it would be like a level of water repellent which is great um but it's a really good transitional jacket to have the trench coat always is so the thing is like you know the type of denim that we're into every year sort of changes like style a little bit like a few years ago we were really into skinny jeans now we're into the opposite and it's really nice because even though things like that change trench coats always remain the same <laughs> oh my god this is so <laughs> long on me uh, <laughs> i feel like if i wasn't wearing heels in this cutaway this would have been like so so long um i really like it though but i think i need to take it to my tailor to get it taken up so this is a faux leather trench coat faux leather huge huge trend in the form of jackets this upcoming season so especially in the form of a trench coat getting very matrix vibes from it to be honest um so yeah i definitely need to take mine and get it taken up a little bit i got mine in a size eight uh i definitely think i should have sized up if i want to wear it sort of more when it gets a bit colder but actually like i quite prefer it as a transitional piece anyway so yeah um it's really soft though for fake leather it's very very buttery soft i'm like feeling it now like it's probably one of the better quality fake leathers that i've actually come across in quite some time okay let's do some more jeans because i basically live in denim all autumn and winter so so these right okay these are the split leg straight jeans i got a size 10 regular so the waist was quite big but like it's they're very tight on the thigh so these are like a very straight up and down literally straight to their name straight by nature so that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind when like picking your size if you've got a body shape quite like mine definitely take the size up um but yeah it was quite like, like tight on my thighs um so but yeah it was quite tight on my legs but I do really like them. I like the color of them. It does come in other colors as well. So I'm tempted to order them in some other colors because I do really like the fit. I do really like how they look on me. And I also have a feeling that with this color denim, that it's probably gonna give a little bit with the more that I wear it because that's just ten that just tends to be what happens. Okay, now these jeans. Oh, what's the style name of these? So these are a, a 12 short oh this explains why they're really like quite loose on me <laughs> i was like why are they so big um so these are the recycled parallel high-waisted leg jeans these were running out of stock in quite a few sizes so i went up in waist but like down in like leg length because i felt like it would probably fit quite loose but i do wish i got the regular length ah oh, so annoying um i'm hoping these are gonna be back in stock because these 
also these were these were probably my second favorite pair of jeans really like the fit of them even though they were fitting a bit loose like i kind of like that it's quite nice so yeah oh my god now this jacket <laughs> i love it so much it is so extra so i feel like styling for this will be something super relaxed like joggers like you know jeans and a tee that kind of thing so i am gonna just skip to the cutaway of me wearing this so this is a super awesome patent and faux fur jacket is so cool it is so extra i absolutely love it i think with a pair of like 70s or 90s sunglasses it's gonna look so cool and really become a proper look as opposed to like you know a really ostentatious jacket it's just gonna become a whole vibe so yeah i think it's really cool i think this was really popular last year so they brought it back into this year's collection if you love the whole like look of oversized blazers and things like that this jacket kind of combines that and a coat so it's this like double breasted oversized blazer but it's done in a way and with a fabric that's like more like a coat so it's really really cool especially for this transitional period i think this will be nice with like over the knee boots and something like that and like like a hoodie dress over the knee boots oh my god i think that's really really cool a pair of like sunglasses that would be a very cool transitional look now i totally love this cardigan this is so nice i wish i got the size up so it was a little bit slouchier on me what did i go for i went for a 10 to 12 so i wish i sized up to the next size really lovely chocolate color i'm not sure if you can see like the exact color in the light because the light was a bit funny today it was like nice and then one minute it wasn't so yeah it's a really nice chocolatey color though love it brown is going to be a very big color this season so all the different tones of browns are going to be a big vibe and then this is probably one of my favorite pieces from the whole haul. So this is this awesome puffer jacket. It's got a hood on it. Oh my God, nothing annoys me more than buying a puffer jacket which doesn't have a hood because it's like, for me, I buy a puffer jacket, not just for fashion, but because it's practical. It's like comfy, it's cozy, and it's gonna keep me warm. But then when it rains, it starts to rain a bit. It's just like, oh, oh there's no hood. I look ridiculous. So yeah, I don't really bother unless I've got a hood, but I really like the color of this as well. This is probably gonna be my like going out and about on a dreary, rainy autumn day kind of jacket. You know what, it's really depressing saying that when it's really sunny outside and it's a really nice day. <laughs> uh, but you know what, at least I have nice autumn clothes to look forward to wearing. Okay, so I've got another piece of homeware. This is just a little storage basket. I use them for little things like storage. So, so it's like a little woven basket. Really cute. It's really good for storing things in. So I use it for, to put things like toilet rolls in, in the bathroom, because it looks cute. Or I use it to put beauty products in, things like that. Or the, what I'm gonna use this one for is putting Hendrix's toys in, because I need something else. Um, also makes kind of like a cute bin if you wanna have a, a bit of a bougier looking, not bougie, like kind of more boho a boho looking bin so yeah it's I mean, there's loads of things that you use it for it's a storage basket so yeah but that's what i would use mine for socks pants whatever for whatever you want in there finally it would not be an autumn haul if we did not have some boots so i've got a couple pair of black boots for you they're very prada-esque and prada inspired you know I love my chunky Prada boots so much. I bought them a couple years ago and these are looking like a very similar vibe but not completely. These come up a bit higher on the ankle so I think that's really cool. And also minor patent leather and these are not. So they've got the nice like little Chelsea boot detail. They also have a zip so that's easier than just pulling them on and off. Like mine are. So yeah, I'm excited to wear these ones because they're just like, I love my patent ones. But these are a little bit, whilst they're still chunky and still quite a statement in that respect, they're a little bit more understated because they're not patent. Where are my mats leather? Okay, and if you like the whole chunky boot thing, but it's a little bit like too much, these ones are a really nice option. So these are basically like just a scaled down version. They're very similar, but they're just not as like bulky. So yeah, they're definitely more of a easier one to style up 
if you're looking to make less of a statement with your shoes because you can see for example uh, let's put this one and this one let's do a little comparison they're very very let me put my line yeah they're very different like that's like a way more slim line this is a lot chunkier so yeah guys that concludes my autumn misguided haul i hope you enjoyed the pieces that i selected really excited i think the only thing that keeps me going i'm such a summer baby i'm such like a summer lover i'm such a summer baby i'm not actually i'm an autumn baby i was born in september but i i just i love summer so much that going into autumn the only thing that keeps me going is the fact that I love the fashion. Autumn fashion is so good. So yeah, that's what's keeping me going. But make sure you follow me on Instagram in the meantime. I'm also on TikTok. I'll put the link there as well. And I have linked to my wardrobe so you can shop my outfits. And all the links, obviously, to everything in today's video is all down below. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye, guys.